we say this group cracked wide open two and one is a pretty tantalizing prospect more so when you've got astralis down at one and two as well yeah no one really taking control of this group quite yet dia's gonna get close up into the corner here come the duelies here comes the utility and duelies deleted immediately by jdc good entry provided by him some pious is going to be forced back by utility and all of a sudden the eight bomb site is cracked wide open for mouse jdc will go toward jungle but doesn't want to overcommit knows there's going to be a tension inside window not anywhere further for go to snappy as he gets caught out can't retreat exertion is even going to take down madden in this play so that means sun pious who was forced off by the smoke early on is now well and truly on the extremities and volda perhaps looking for a bit of aggression from him to distract but i don't think this is likely armor on both players i think you even look to save Ooh. Good shot volda okay that might encourage him he's got a call that there's multiple in toward middle he might have a chance volda to cut them off the problem is i don't think he's aware of the player up close he still hits the shot on dexter they're far enough away but the bomb i think too far gone there is yeah. no kits in play had there been one kill maybe at middle if volda comes out immediately with a headshot maybe but yeah. it was still a far cry they just didn't get any success on the initial on the initial contact did they they lost three players pretty much immediately with no rebuttal so i mean that any retake that comes in from there is just going to be way too time consuming one to nothing for mouse good job from jdc double kill for him even finding the opening onto diha as he turns the corner right here on ramp Dia tries to slide out perhaps a little bit early everyone gets shut down kind of diha to uh give that interview and Tell us they just need, yeah. need to shoot better. I love how she's like, well, you yeah, know, when they're the last two alive, do they switch to Danish? She's, yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe. <laughs> I, I stopped, wasn't listening. I stopped paying attention when I'm dead. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's so good. <sighs> oh, Dia, speaking of, not much going on in his vision this time to go along with the lack of communication, apparently. Blinded by the flash at mid. That lets Exertion cross over to mid box. Blinded by the flash. Nate is out on a ramp, and Madden is going to jump up. Onto the boxes, a little bit of spam comes through, nothing crazy. Return nade does good damage. Mouse look like they wanted to apply a good amount of pressure over towards A, and they back off it. Dexter calls something different. Him and Torzi rotate to the other side of the map, where there's a deep angle of some pious with the scout. Did they make the U bigger in his name? On the HUD? Is this like a troll of them trying to like go off of our son Pius thing? Look, the U looks bigger. Okay, I see what you mean. I don't think that. I think it's all API, so I can't imagine. But yeah, I don't think they would do that just for us. But it is nice Someone to think that the, font. the world revolves around us. I... Do dozens. <laughs> Weird. Valda and Dia are gonna have a job to do here. Three players from Mao's look like they want to attack up connector. Thirty-five seconds. Mao's running this pretty low, and there's a stack here. Dia to the corner with the deagle. Pius comes around the corner with the scout. That's, feeling. That's gonna be a hit, and you might be right. The Deagle, thankfully it wasn't the first one around the corner, the low HP, but Exertion's tagged up. They are softened up enough. Headshot easily achieved. Your feelings are being fruitioned, Jason. Be oh no, did he just kill his... Oh, Volda got the kill. I thought he killed his teammate there for a second. Either way, they get the round, and it is on the early damage from the scout. Yeah, a couple of tags, a couple of nice shots of the Deagle, and even though some of the kills come out for Mouse as well on the entries, there's just too many bodies here. Like, look at that. The first two kills of this are all are both on the Mouse sports, but everything after that is all ends because they just never expect there to be five people here. Mouse just a little bit too quiet. No information, kind of sliding into that late round execute and gets shut down. Ends back on the board. One to one. And they got the rifles now. Hmm. Ooh, he's going for more. Not going to happen. Madden has the shot instead. Dexter goes down. Time for Dirty Dia to throw a big devilish dirty nade. He's done damage. JDC. Madden going to follow it up. He gets now what that third in his round for th this round for him it is. So just towards he left. And he ain't going to do anything. There's the nade to clean it up. Nice job from Snappy. Madden's got a triple kill in the round. Ence is up two to one. Things looking good. And no chance for a buy in this uh, fourth round of the half for Mao's. They've got no cash. So the rifles are going to be relatively safe. Diha's going to swap down to an SMG. Look for him to go farming. Look for him to go chase down some bonus money. And away we go. Away we go in round four. Well, where are we going, Jason? Up mid. Do I, do I need to bring a purse? Yeah, probably something. Maybe one of those fanny packs. Oh, I do love a good hip pack. 
So aggression toward underpass revealed themselves with some utility and then immediately fall back to top middle. That's going to be Dia that's going to go hunting, but he's got problems here. He's okay. He's actually tapping away with an MP9. <laughs> I'm impressed. No problems at all. And yeah, no danger for the rifles after the fact. So Dia gets caught in a weird situation. Still comes out on top with three frags. That's uh, plenty of cash in his pocket and a two-round lead for Enz. AK is coming on the board for Mouse though. No AWP just yet. Picked up for the T side. So shout out to Valda. Not only still rocking that wire on the mouse, it's pink and I'm digging it. Valda's a man of culture, a man of class, a man of taste. Turn that into a copy and paste. Chat, do it. I dare you. Hooksy would do it. Torzy toward top, gonna try and swing out and cover off anyone that dare peek from connector. It's JDC that wants to sneak up again, so they'll split middle to try and get control. They've got a boost potential there as well, and the fact that there's two players down below. Window smoke and late mid control for Mal's coming in. Nobody to contest oh, on the CT side. That's not ideal. It's the Molotov and instead, the, the fact that he's a little bit late on that that first smoke. I'd like to have that one back. Yeah, I think so. Because the, 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 there's a timer on the smoke that's already in window, obviously, as well as the one in connector. He wants to try and get a boost, potentially, but now Dia's going to be sitting there with clean vision. Ooh, good flashbang. Good duel. Dia spots at least two. Probably knows likely there's one underneath the window from the sound cues earlier from Utility, so calling out three in mid at least. And Snappy still jump spawning over at the B bomb site. Exertion really on his own, peering up towards A, but he's got the op on Sun Pius to contend with. Timing is everything there. One smoke in towards window from, or excuse me, dropped on catwalk for Dexter. They're gonna hit this B bomb site. There's three defenders here. Shots. Snappy. The player, not the shots. Unfortunately, he can't find any targets. He's gonna go down. JDC walks in from the balcony. Exertion's on the chase, quietly trying to catch Ooh. Madden as he goes back through the murder hole. May not even matter. Sun Pius already removed as Dexter comes inside and plants the bomb. And Madden is a man with a very limited amount of time left in this round. Dia, though, still doing damage. And I think Madden's aware he's turned it around. Doesn't matter. He's caught out. And it's Mouse to get their second. Yeah, great entry provided on Devalda on Catwalk as well. That Galila long range couldn't do the damage necessary back from bench at the back of the B bomb site. And unfortunately, that's half the read. They have the stack, they have the great call and great rotation. Just can get absolutely nothing done. That's a beautiful shot from Dexter as well onto the op of Sun Pius. The fast op couldn't even get a shot off. And Mouse have their second round. They get the AWP. And a MAC 10 on Dexter. Full buy for Ents though. Heading into round number six. Oh, baby, that's just too easy. What is Dia doing? Got caught. Ran into the wall, I think. Oh, Ooh. they're both blind. I was going to say, that's a dead exertion, and somehow Vald is also completely blind. What a great call for Mouse, though. You get that kill in middle, and you're like, yep, screw it. Let's just keep rushing B. That's one player we don't have to worry about, one player who might be late to rotate over, and that's have to call this off. There's no chance of getting into this. There's just going to be a freebie uh, for Mouse, and then the question becomes, can Valda get away? That's a good read as well, because... The kill in middle, but they also had the flash come out from Valda's position that blinded up both him and Exertion, so they knew there's one in Catwalk. And you can see Dexter still searching for that because Exertion's been on this side the whole time. So where'd he go? Well, gotta be inside that ladder somewhere, bud. I'm not gonna go over commit on the fight, though, interestingly enough. All right, so just a straight up round win for Mouse to tie things up. No real contest. Valda's still chilling in ladder room. No one's coming from Catwalk. He can stay in here as long as he'd like. Exertion is looking for him to try and fall out through window, but Valda's not afraid of the blast whatsoever. Three to three. We're going to get a rinse and repeat of this round. See if Deha can uh, find his footing. No, dear. That's yeah. a door. Ran into the wall. Does the door speak Danish? <laughs> is that the problem, Dia? Obviously, it doesn't speak Polish. Yeah. Makes a better pole than a door. Well done. Thanks, man. My mom uses that so much. You block her TV vision. You make a better door than a window. All right, mom. Jesus, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to the bathroom. That's a real boomer saying. It's very boomer. Does your mom also say, come hither? No, she's not that weird. Yeah. Oh, what? Excuse me. <laughs> My mom's a sweetheart, Jason. <laughs> she is. Nades out on the B-Rush. Plenty of utility damage, but a better flashbang. Volder neutralized again. Snappy still on the back of the site, but not for long. It's an AK-47 bullet to the head, and all of a sudden, Mao's control of the site and a man advantage. 
Dexter with the plants and the boost up on the box above as well means that they've got the angles covered off. Diaz already faked that he's left the ladder room by taking out the vent. But I think he's going to leave for real now because his teammates are too far removed. <sighs> okay, fair enough. Maybe they've just had enough of this and they want to go for it. Maybe they just desperately need to get around. But I think that's the time ticks away. No exit kills, no picks. They'll leave Dia toward the window for that reason. But I, I don't even think he's going to get anything there. So this is another one going to Mouse 4 now for them. And they'll take the lead as a result of this as well. Yeah, they will. This is a great string for Mouse. Three in a row. Including the freebie of the last round. Just a very good call. Bomb goes off. And they're right back in the driver's seat. And this is them losing the pistol or losing the second round after winning the pistol also. That's kind of returned the favor. And They've been able to do a great job battering down this defense, though equally on the other side, Ence is doing a good job of saving weapons even in these losses. They obviously have a FAMAS, an M4, an AWP they bring into this round. They can replenish Valda and Snappy with ease. Those guys will have utility as well, so they're going to call a timeout just to talk things over, but... At three players over 100 already, so they're just getting a straight-up AK headshot, baby. Dia at this time moving a little bit more quickly, gets up on top of the fence, drops down, watches for the gap in the smoke and anyone that dare cross toward middle, but with a Molotov at the boxes, Exertion's probably not going to exert that much energy to get there. Ooh, I like this from Torzi, though. Oh, thanks, Dan. You like what I said. I, that was good. That was decent. Not your, not your best work. Good shot from Torzi as Madden comes in. That is well struck. Dexter's going to fall next. But the open position over in Palace, blocked off by their own smoke. Well, that's a dangerous weapon to be able to peer out from Palace at will. And you have Zershin inside the smoke trying to come through. Ooh, see Sunpai is. Freebie, nice headshot. Sunpai is not ready for it. Molotov to block off the rotation. And Malice have access to the A bomb site again. Dia had just committed to leaving that spot. Because you would have thought the trade comes back through AK, through smoke. He can see tracers. He knows he's on the stairs. But he actually was already headed toward the murder hole, so he didn't bother to turn around. And maybe he even thought he was up as well, given the noise. So he's going to rotate towards CT. Bomb is going to be planted by Frozen. Snappy's gone. Removed. JDC, and he's still hunting. Man, Mauser just picking this map apart at this point. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Baldo with a kill onto JDC, but this seems like to be a kill that's going to allow Diha to just get away and escape, not to actually go for anything. So, and this is now like what three in the last four rounds they haven't even been able to fight for whatsoever. Very impressive stuff from Mal's to open up on Mirage. Things looking good. So Diha just sitting back again. Holds on to the M4s. But another round going the way of Mouse. Now you can see that money they're building up, even, even on the, the players past, shall we say, the late members of Ents, they've got money to buy. So the saving has paid off. It's been distributed. They'll go right back into it. The exemption this time, no AWP. But if I'm not mistaken... Mm, yeah, they could have got... Well, no, he was just light. He was $100 light, Jason. Dia said in the interview they needed to shoot better. We have yet to see them shoot better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can he say that in Danish? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not winning these duels by any means right now. And yes, okay, AKs when they're on are pretty menacing even still, but uh, you need to start finishing this off, especially when you're doing chip damage like that every round. You've gotten JDC down to 50 now. That's, that's a one-shot kill for an M4. So you can't give the advantage to him. Snappy with a self-serving smoke to try and cover himself off at Quad. Volta this time is going to step up. Finally, Dexter wraps around. That gives Snappy enough time, though, to get the trade. He was aware of it. He could protrude beyond the edge of his own smoke as Torzi wants to drop into the van. Now, that cuts off the back line, and two players on that wall make it three. Torzi's looking the wrong direction, though, toward the window. I don't think he's realized a second player was inside of that lane, inside of the door, and he can still see the gun barrel. But did he hear the player at jail? Oh, my. Oh, my shadow. But he fell off the back of the van. Driver, stay still. Madden's got the kill, and finally Ents get around. That could have been cool to see what he could have done with that. Nicely done from Ents this time on defense. They don't die too early. And also, you got to say, Mouse didn't really attack the bombs, right? They dropped down in van. I guess they were expecting some kind of contact. But look at how long Valda has to just stay on the open, chuck a grenade, take the fight from there, finds himself two kills. For a number of seconds, they had just dropped down Mouse and were lining up smoke and utility to move forward from that point. But it gives all the time in the world for the defense to regain their footing. Four to five. Diha going to start sliding up middle. On 
contact towards Z already trying to fire back at it though, so that should subside. Diaz still got his back there. He's got two players to support, so Sunpias and Psych Connector can look over top of him. And Volda is oh, there. Oh my lord! Well, exertion just absolutely deleted that. So Pius with the return kill though, and they know they're in toward of the A site. Three players in connector, one that's gonna rotate back towards CT, but this is a tough choke point to get through. Volta's taking advantage of the smoke, because even if he goes and goes down, maybe his thought is, hey, there's two more of me in the same position. They won't expect this all to be here. They're gonna jump through, and they're ready for it. Volta turns around against the flank of the trade, but exertion through the smoke finds him. It's all on his snappy. He's brought it back as Torzi falls, but it's just he versus exertion and jumping up. He didn't land fast enough to get his aim. It's back to the winning column for Mouse. Yeah, because that entry kill was so clean out of Palace, Mouse actually had so much utility left. Normally with those kind of A executes, you, you see all the nades kind of run out for the post plant for the T side, but here they had all the Molotovs, all the smokes extra after that. Even, uh, it feels a little bit of a crazy decision to flashbang through your own smokes to try and attack towards Top Con, but it works out at the end of the day. Great clutch from Exertion. And Maus with a two-round lead, still Ents with money problems. And at this stage, down two, six to four in round number 11. If you lose this one and run out of money, you're in some real trouble. Maus is going to run up the score on you. They'll be running up that hill. Oh, God, I hate that song. <laughs> okay. It's just, right. you know, it's just, you know, one of those things that you hear too much now. I don't even know what song that is. Good. Keep it that way, Jason. Stay oblivious. Your ignorance is bliss. Sweet summer child. Dexter. God bless you, son. Ooh, trying to cut him off. Snappy's going to be able to escape for the moment on top of the van looking for the fight. He's called the teammate over. Snappy in an exchange. Seven HP left, but Dia's got him. Dia's the one exiting market, finding an easy headshot onto Dexter. Madden's push a ramp, but he's pushing away from the end game of Mouse. Now coming back. Might be able to stop it, but he's only got an SMG. That, that was so close for Snappy. 7 HP, they're spamming him. The flames at his feet. Your idea certainly saved him, and they might pull this off with the lesser weapon. What a round to win. As you said, it. Mouse could have run away with this. Not done yet. Frozen and Exertion, both with AKs. Oh, I can't believe some pies just dropped off. Timing was... Oh, timing again is everything. This is crazy. And you can tell, Frozen's just waiting for this play. He's just saying, you're the one who has to create the opening for me. He's going to get it eventually. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Now, how much trigger discipline does he want to have? Exertion, there's the first. Low HP on Snappy and Madden. Exertion's gonna follow that up. He gets the high HP on D and Frozen swings around. This is a perfectly executed two on four as they still both have 100 HP and Snappy late to the party. Remember, he was the one that was burning at the barbecue over at B and I think he realizes the problem. They're gonna be out of money. Yeah, they got nothing. Save that M4. That felt like a round for Ants where they were in such a strong position that, that that felt more to me like miscommunication of a new team. They had so many players in good positions. They had Madden over at A ramp. Sun Pius with the op at ticket was never checking behind him. It feels like this was just kind of inexperienced playing together and lost communication. Just communication that just didn't come through where they just kind of lost the plot a little bit on the round. But what a great play from Exertion. The long flank, the trigger discipline as well, didn't yield them a second kill. And yeah, a little bit of frustration coming in. Seven to four, and all the money's been taken away. They've got the single AK-47 on Snappy. Yeah, that's tough. Very tough. Well, we'll see what they can do to try and hold this half together because they're definitely, as you say, holding on to just one AK-47 at this point in time. 5-7 for Madden. Deagle for Valda. Okay, Dia's gone to the scout. Some Pius as well upgrades onto a 5-7, so they are gonna get a bit aggressive with this buy and try and support that AK in any way they can. Armor on all, I shouldn't say that, armor on three, excuse me. Look at the bottom two, Dia and some Pius don't have any armor at all, so even if they get those picks, I was thinking you pick up a weapon, suddenly you're in the round, it's still, you've got some lesser situation to work with. Yeah, some Pius obviously saving for the op, so not even really investing in too much at all. Do you guys well with a scout, maybe just saying, I can get a shot off without getting tagged. Mouse is gonna take this one slow. No, they're up against weaker weapons. Looking to see if there's gonna be any kind of cheeky setup, any kind of aggression coming in. And at the moment they feel nothing, so right around a minute and five seconds, they're gonna start making their move. Firing that scoot toward the smoke. Nothing on the other side of it to get caught out. Madden just waiting it out. 
AK-47's on catwalk. Dexter might run into it. I think Matt in the 5-7. Let that baby go. Oh, yeah, exactly that. Headshot easy peasy from that range. He's gonna get two. Oh, no, he's not. Not quite. JDC able to come back out and just get the final bullet needed, but he goes down to 18 HP. All the jumping up. I'm sorry, sir. That was the wrong time to do so. Dexter takes him out of the round. Trent Bias has a good position, though. He's huddled up in Palace. He can't really peek. He's trying to let them into the bomb site, get the plant going before he actually makes his position. No, no. And unfortunately, he had to pull the trigger there. No other options. Diaz going to go down next. He does get a tag off. There's some softened up players. And unfortunately, this lone AK-47 that Snappy saved hasn't been able to get involved. Took a few battles from range on catwalk, but couldn't find anything clean or comfortable. Now, this is up to eight. Did you know that just like caterpillars who hibernate into a cocoon and emerge as a butterfly, if you let your mouse sit long enough, it turns into a real mouse, just like the Mouse Sports logo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that one. <laughs> yeah, gonna, I don't even know where to... Just everyone, just uh, please don't clip that and just forget it ever happens. I would love I, to I bail will, you out. I, I would love to just... You know, this is one of those occasions where I use the self-filter button, run it through my head first, and then decide if it's worth saying, because this one wasn't, okay? I'll come back to you on that one. Yep, a little more time in the oven. That's probably true in a lot of ways for me, yep. Round 13, 8 to 4. And this is a big question mark for the desk, remember, too. This will be a fun post-game breakdown if Miles go on to win this is uh, some of the concern that Blay had for Miles coming in here into Mirage, and it's just looking fantastic on the T side. Very, very impressive stuff. Exertion at 10 frags. So anyway, there I was, commentating. On the top toward the top boxes. No one's going to cross over this time. Exertion and... Who's that with them? It's JDC, excuse me, as we snap over, is both working in tandem toward the apartments, but Volt is one step ahead. Now, the problem is he's flashed up. Molotov down. Good read from Exertion. This guy's quick as he gets ahead, but Snappy finds him lurking inside of the site trying to find another, and immediately uh, gives the advantage back to Ents, uh, an advantage they desperately need to capitalize on. As we sit at 8-4, to four, they need a fifth round. Can't land the first. Too many players peaking, and unfortunately, not enough time bought as well for the rotation, so Madden does get outside from checkers but the smoke's down in front of him i mean right. dexter can wrap onto him yeah sun Pius coming from catwalk is going to grab dexter from the side and now frozen has so few options nowhere to go madden's got that as well good hold from ends it didn't look likely reinforcements got there just in time coming out of market three round lead for mouse plenty of money to buy back up into it plenty of money for another buy in the next round if they need it yeah, Valde with the off, but couldn't get off any kind of second shot. Blinded by Frozen. Snappy playing around the edge of the smoke and just a timely flank on Catwalk from some pies to secure the round. Desperate scenario for ends. This has not been fun whatsoever. 7-2 to run that we're in in the favor of Maus. So Pius with a different position this time, trying to get aggressive down toward a connector. Desperately needed round, like you said. Seven. Round run, and JDC just trying to fire through the smoke thing. Slow down significantly this time. In fact, first round, we haven't seen really anyone good toward middle from either team. Yeah. Yeah, there has always been some kind of presence there. A little bit of smoke from the T-sided window to kind of show that presence without actually being there at the moment. Just very passive. That is a flashbang that Madden eats full force. But doesn't budge. So it comes late mid control. JDC and exertion from underneath. Dexter from top Whoa, mid. That's unlucky. I don't even think he moved. I think he just clipped. I think his crosshair placement was a bit unfortunate on that one. So towards, oh, that's a beautiful flash. Oh, he even has time to double peek it. Madden had no chance. Well executed to get the opening kill. Unfortunately, it wasn't any better on the other side as we say that tag, but now two low HP players could be huge. Exertion continues to open up the map as once again, he gets inside of the window and from the murder hole, oh, he nearly got some bias running and gunning. Put him down to 54. JDC's late bringing the bomb up. He's so concerned about his HP. He's just now going to start moving into position to get that plant, but that's allowed Volta to come over here, have some time. Molotov going to hold him at bay. That's perfectly placed. Frozen still has a smoke as well. And Sun Pius is pinned down by Torji with the op over towards a ramp.
They're saving. Yep. I'm. Yeah. I, it's it's again go back to that first pick you change the odds here in a two on two you might consider it again but both have kids both have armor they don't have a lot of money they're going to try and hold on to this and so it's only one round they'll get before they give up another nine at least in the half for mouse sports and it means they can buy in the final round at least and i say buy it's going to be tight but they'll force everything they can into it so they're yeah mid mid 3,000 in terms of money for three players. It's been this this half has just been ends trying to scrambling to hold on to what they can in round losses. There's been there's been a, a good amount of rounds they haven't even really been able to fight for. Good amount of rounds where Mouse has just made it into the bomb site and the round's over from there. Another one as Ends scrambles to make sure they have enough money. Last round of the first half. Double up, set up again, Sun Pius and Snappy this time. It was Volda previously at the B-bomb site. This time it switches over to the captain. Adam has an off angle. Around the edge of that smoke, but nobody's gonna fall prey to it. Tool magic gets annihilated by the flashbang. Fortunately, there's no one staring down at it from the other side. Flashbang annihilates Madden. Yeah. Is that the headline tomorrow? That's the headline. Nice. He should be a journalist. Flashbang dunks on Madden. You'd be really good at clickbait. Slams him. Since you're a baiter in game, you know, clickbait, it would match you well. Yeah, but I get the high score at the end. Exertion moving down middle. Smoke at top cons. Defensive smoke at the base of con to protect against any progression. Snappy aggressive in B-Halls. It's JDC who's got some danger of being picked off here. He is going to get tagged through the wall and can't return the favor. There goes Exertion. Diha just waiting patiently behind the smoke. An easy kill for him. Dexter is also going to fall prey to Volda. Didn't clear deep enough in towards ladder room. And all of a sudden, a five on, you know, let's say two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Well, let's see if that quarter's got anything left in it. JDC. I'm going to rotate this back the other direction now. So a sustained advantage with 28 seconds. And could make this a 9-6 halftime Torzi. AWP wants to try and get a pick. JDC is going to go first. Sun Pai is playing backwards toward the CT spawn. He spots utility thrown from Palace, so that's one call. They've given up Connector, interestingly enough, with that smoke going deep. They're going to wrap around on this, so Bomb Plant likely to be conceded. It won't matter economically now. We're in the final of the half. JDC gets to the half wall. This is... Okay, D has come out from behind. I was going to say, that's a tough position for them to read. And if they come out too soon, maybe he gets two. All five stay alive. Good retake from Entz. And we do have that 9-6 score. JDC and Exertion over towards the B bomb site. Frozen and Dexter close up on A. Dexter's actually already peering in towards Palace. They're calling the rush out immediately. JDC tosses out a nade. Does good damage. Now they need the kills. Exertion going to get that first one. That all-important first kill. Time to reload. And JDC can keep some space. Working in tandem. Holding them at bay. And the bomb site is not lost yet. Now Exertion under pressure. But Dexter arriving as well. Dia though gets that shot. Exertion couldn't land the headshots and the damage in return. He tried multiple times but just could not get kills. Bomb goes down as a result for Entz. No kits on the three players that are alive but as you can see there's one very near the bomb site. Great shot Dexter. It's gonna let them in further but he's not a Whoa! Whoa! No 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 sir! Dear. And they'll get the defuse. Wow. Don't clip that one either. Yeah, that's going to make things brutally difficult now. 10 to 6 for Maus, and he had every right to get that kill and could not. Yeah, Dexter wasn't even considering it. He saw a little bit of leg over towards the default plant spot, and he was full focus on getting into the site for that kill. Completely forgot to check the corner. Ooh, that's a great shot. We didn't catch that one on the uh, initial POV. Not only that, look at the next one he follows up with, and then somehow he's... That one, he at least knew someone was there, right? A teammate was tagging him. That first one was just like clean reaction. I give him a 10 on the first, six, seven on the second. Okay, harsh critic, but I'll take it. What about the one on Volda? <laughs> that one just gets bonus points for being funny. Galil by for Entz. All five players, <laughs> very light on utility as well. One flash, one nade to work with, two smokes for the T side. Up against a plethora of M4s. Torzi's down. Snappy with the kill. Now, what does Exertion do? Ooh, he's going to slide away now. Gun barrel, did it show? Don't think so. I think he was far enough back. I was going to say, might have been spotted from top middle because obviously he knows his teammates underneath have gone. 
but he doesn't want to tunnel his vision there without support, so instead they do the smart thing and rotate a player into Connector to watch that. Frozen's the one to do it. This is pulling a lot of attention away from the extremities, though. Palace and a ramp are wide open at the moment. Three players leaning towards middle for this end's defense. They need a kill. They need to find one. Exertion's going to give it to him. That's top mid taken out. Valda, though, and Diha. They might actually start pouncing out of Palace now. Good kill from Frozen, and that window of opportunity today is closing quickly. Dexter Dinks has to get off the edge. As it came through the stairwell, it only puts him down to 55. Lost to be covered. No smokes to be thrown either. Nothing to cover it unless they can get clean kills. Look at the damage, Dia, though. Down to 16. Extra got vaulted just before that. There's no time is to this? wait for Snappy. There's no time no. to wait. He has to start going right now, and that's the problem. He's got no HP. Snappy. Oh, he does get a kill. This might open things up. There's 12 seconds of the clock. He's got to get a kill now himself. He does, but bomb down. Frozen knows it. Frozen knows exactly where Snappy's coming from. He's out of there. He's gone. There's enough time. Ooh. He knows he's picked it up. Okay, that's actually smart that he checks that he's grabbed it because he knows the situation. Oh, my goodness. Snappy gets <laughs> off that, man. You give it a chance. Yeah. Ooh. That got way, way too close. Snappy given a gift of that kill through the murder hole. A deep kill that mean he didn't have to run as far because I think they were going to start getting an idea what play was coming. Five round lead for Maus and Ents have no money to continue fighting here in round 18. They're going to have to save, especially without a plant. This was about as good of a try as you could have made it with time dwindling. Ents getting as close as possible. 11 to 6. Unarmored pistols. They do have some deagles. Do have a P250. And Torzi's going to see everything. Torzi. Oh, I don't think he saw Dia, though, down low. So that oddly large bulge of smoke coming out from Connector that didn't land on the stairs is actually protecting Dia to get down low. Exertion's going to additionally deploy smoke. And it's similarly placed the low side of the stairs. Figure that smoke out for yourself, future bros. It goes off the wooden, or excuse me, the, the blue wall as Frozen falls off. He's got Maiden. He's got to get the shift in the gun set and reload done, but he manages to get the animation finished with the cancellation and gets the kill. Snappy down to exertion, and we go 12 to 6. Nice and easy. Let's see what Ents has in the gun rounds. All we've seen is five Galils with limited utility. This time they get the AK-47s. They get the smokes and flashes they need for the entire round. And Ents... Right out of the gate. Kind of in a backs against the wall situation. Six rounds back. Mal's just four rounds away from taking the opening map of the series. Final match of the third day of Group C. Both these teams jockeying for a position. The group is wide open. Nothing's been decided. Nobody's in the driver's seat. Complexity's lost to Heroic today. Pretty much ensured nobody could grab control. Leg shot cleaned up and Sun Pius to find Frozen. They committed to that even, uh, even when they'd already kind of been caught. Pius has been quiet in this game. Nine kills, but nothing crazy with that AWP exertion. That has gone down the ladder behind him, so he's got to move slightly further forward than he would have liked to. Manages to get Snappy as a result, though. Yeah, that's wild, especially because you think Snappy would have heard that, or, or a teammate would have called it over that someone was underneath the balcony. Still a good win with the SMG. Three on three. From an early two kills, a five on three due to, due to a Hulls push. Now look at Mal's. Torji has shrunk the map, and he's saying, guys, just stay parked. Stay at A. I know everything. But he doesn't know they're coming right back at him. That's a tough one. Tough to see through the fence the further you are from it. Oh, Mouse is calling the bluff. They're staying. Interesting as well on that single kill. They're going to do it, but you're absolutely right. They have. They've gone back underneath Shadow as well. So JDC can take aggro, and they may think he's the only one here. If they have, rotate it over. Goodbye. Dia? Valda still considering? Now J... Okay. Mm. They saw Exertion earlier in this same spot, right? He got a kill previously. The question... Ooh, it's awkward. And Valda's going to find it. Nice, quiet awareness to check everything off out in the open. JDC's got to put out the Molotov. Use the smoke to jump right through, but oh, some Pius is holding it. Seventh round for Ents. Yeah, JDC, as soon as he gets that pick in A, rotates off. If he stays a little closer, maybe they can set the crossfire. But obviously, like you say, they, they thought they saw someone out toward middle. Doesn't quite work out. Locked out. And seventh uh, round for Ents. Desperately needed as well. Their first of the second half. Yeah.
Yeah, they, they need this too just because it's now set Mouse up to be have their economy taken away and be broken. They're the ones with no money in the bank now. So, I mean, if events can win this, then you start getting back into the game. You close this gap. Ops trade opening frags one for one. Different parts of the map. To be fair as well uh, to JDC, he actually hit the edge of the doorway, but some pies positioned himself very well at CT that he would have seen him even if he made it to the corner of the stairs. Dexter trying to figure out exactly where a player is inside of A main. To the right, ops the openers, but both remain on the playing surface. Mid control for Mal's on the CT side as well. Torji with the op looking towards top mid, towards the base of Catwalk to protect Exertion, who's peering straight down into the underpass. And Snappy's basically just lurking, making sure there's no aggression on the B side of the map for his teammates, who are going to start positioning towards A. Sun Pius to throw a window smoke. At least for Ents, this is a passive defense. They'll have an avenue, they'll have access to the A bomb site. Dexter and Torji are playing for the retake. Dexter's gonna take this out. Torji's gotta be so careful here because he's got players up close. They're gonna hear him. Dexter almost has to be the one to shut this day. Yeah, no, they have no, no information. So Snappy knows at least that the LVP player has left the mid window. That's gonna give them more confidence and more awareness to look towards CT. But Dexter the whole time playing the edge of the box. He surely has to know that Dia's gone inside the, the sandwich position, and now with making a ton of noise, he's gonna swing out once more. He'll find Dia. Bomb goes down. AWP for some pies, but he is about to get overwhelmed. And a missed jump that may have actually benefited them as Exertion gets underneath where he was anticipated to arrive from. What a great play from Dexter. He was he was like a, an inch away from death, a step away from death for a lot of that round, but finds himself at fire and just kind of makes himself a small target. Gets his first kill and just waits. He knows he's got all of his teammates arriving. He knows he doesn't have to do more than this. He doesn't have to make any kind of a crazy play he's just fine yields him a second kill later on in the round and freezes the attack doesn't let them progress forward 13 to 7 back to a six round lead and back to just pistols upgraded pistols at least for ents jdc you better be ready baby assertion this is kind of crazy already up middle always oh, made a step though M madden surely madden heard that yeah, okay. He was smart about it. He was waiting. He didn't even turn his mouse when we were there. I was wondering what was going on. Frozen? He's going to be equally as sneaky. Exertion was the one that arguably had the better position last time. Okay, you've got to get him before he disappears, son, before he finds your teammate. But he's hoping someone else is going to walk through. He'll go for it now. Smokes didn't dissipate, so he's able to walk back out a little bit further. Volda, he's got that information. Nay's going to land directly on his feet, down to 18. So he'll be cleaned up by Dexter on the MP9. And now Frozen has confirmed there is one more toward the tail. <laughs> Good Ooh. shot though, hang on. This round's gone back the other way. P250s, Torzi is in trouble. He tries to fade away, he can't do it. And some Pius will collect the AWP. That is disgusting. Nice shooting with the P250s. Son Pius and Diha, wonderful. And that is a round ends desperately needed. These entries, just too easy. Exertion needs to know the possibility of someone in that smoke. That's not uncommon. And obviously over towards the B-bomb set as well. A simple Tech-9 entry on the lone defender. And get away with one. That's incredible. Yeah, that's the headbutt against the chair of Frozen that's just like, man, this could have been easy. We've just made it way more difficult on ourselves. Guns over to Ents. Ends flush with cash. Free AWP is passed over to Sun Pius. They can rebuy that now. And it's pistol and armor for the CT side. JDC and Exertion at the B bomb site. Remember, Exertion was in the push mid in the previous round as well. So that's the that's the second B defender that was actually in middle. That made that B hit so much easier. Shot from Diep. Wins clean, easy. Got Exertion as well. Shooting better now. Oh, yes. And with the full investment into this round, this this might be a... Uh, the, the previous round could just turn into a twofer. Off the back of Tech Nines, win two rounds. You get this one now. And the next round, Exertion and JDC won't be able to buy anything, so it's going to be another save for the mouse side. Holding on to three deagles from here. But money is going to grow for Ents. So they're setting themselves up pretty nicely, even with the deficit to, uh, to have the best chance possible to come back into this map. And you got to love that. Gotta love it. Oh, man. Let's go the distance, baby. I'm loving this.
magnificent. One and one each of these teams, as we say, you want to get to that two and one position, given the way that this group is growing. Going. If you get down to one and two, I don't know that you'll be able to recover. I don't know that it's going to be possible. It's going to get weird. And not the good kind of weird. And, and I say that knowing full well that Astralis is one and two right now. Got beat by complexity and got beat by heat. Yeah, that was a wild turn of events today, wasn't it? This group's just all, like you say, sorts of weird. Good weird. More mixed up than the pee in the pool here. <laughs> well, caution to the wind. An A contact, play, rush, whatever you want to call it. AK-47's not afraid of anything. Nice freebie round out of the timeout. Very anticlimactic. It's a big gamble stack for Mal's. They might actually, I mean, as silly as this kind of sounds too, they might want to just want to save the armor on Dexter and Frozen. Yeah, don't, don't give up anything. Just back away. Preserve all the cash you can for the later stage of this half. So, yeah, a little bit of a pair of uh, relatively uh, lackluster rounds, I'd say. All the way through to CT, and yeah, we're gonna get double digits for Ents all in the back of that eco. When this could have very easily been nearer to the end, perhaps even ending on this particular round. You see, there was a uh, big band wave today, Matt. Was there really? Yeah, there was. A, I saw a screenshot of a guy whose uh, account got banned with like four point six million dollars of skins. Oh, get wrecked, buddy! Yeah. Absolutely wrecked. That is crazy. I can't wait till you lose the password to your blockchain too. So all your fake money can be ruined. This was really going in on him, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Was he, was he banned for griefing and, like, like skin trading, or was he banned? No, I think for... he was banned for cheating. Oh, screw that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't feel screw bad for him. Screw that guy. You're, saying, you're really piling it on. Oh, he deserves it. <laughs> 13 to 10. Three-round lead. Torji up top with the AWP. Nothing quick this time for Ents. 4.6 milli. That, come on, that... How many skins is that? I don't know. How many... Uh, Maybe I wanna, it's just 10 really good ones. Yeah, 10 Dragon Lords. That's <laughs> what they're worth these days. Torji. Ooh, he saw the shoulder, couldn't land the shot. Small gap, gonna back away with safety, and Frozen's got one. I don't even know if he saw that. That might have just been a timing. Burning, Diaz trying to get out of the window. They're both trying to get out of the window. JDC's got no HP. They've got to know he's at car. That nade will do it. The holy hand grenade clears out the B-bomb site, and Ents have complete control. Complete control, but we'll see if Frozen can stay cool because he's got to fade away on this. Smokes and flashes going through. Staying alive is important if they consider this. They're not. They're already bailing out, so they're completely gone. It's not even about efficiency. It's not about rotations. It's about economy. And 13-11. So Ants, maybe they've got something for us. Maybe they've done just enough that eco saving them. And we were starting to question why they would let this map sit in the pool. Well, hang on. We've got a game. A game indeed. Game indeed. Remember, this all started, this little run. It's going to be four rounds straight for Ents. It all started with that Tech-9 rush, a change of pace with Tech-9 and armor towards the B bomb site. They win it pretty clean. And from there, Ents has just never looked back. Four in a row and five of the last six rounds in their favor on the T side Mirage. Overpass is next. That's Ents' map choice. Yeah. Going away from Vertigo, which they picked twice, struggled a little bit on it in day one in a victory over Heat, and obviously uh, got beat up by Heroic yesterday on it, so obviously not feeling Vertigo as much at the moment as they did previously. Yeah, some pies with a bit, a bit of intensity there. It's all good, bro. Shit happens. Get it back. Well, we'll see what happens now because this is very, very crucial for Mouse Sports as they're getting nearer to the end of this and the gun's finally back in their hands, but already Exertion's hands are a bit cold and rigor mortis as he hits the ground. And another round where JDC is feeling oh so lonely at the B bomb site. His teammate has just gone down on catwalk and he's the only defender here. He's got to be very nervous. Snappy's going to add another one, which makes the rotations very, very difficult. Look at Snappy go. And that's all based on the contact from Palace as well. They're busy. They fire a few shots. Snappy knows, all right, thanks for telling me. I'm just going to walk up and take the kills now. Some Pius takes out Torzi. Not a single kill so far for the rifles. I say so far because there is three players on low HP and this M4 can be a problem but we've got a flank in play. And I think they're not going to overcommit on this peak. Dia will go down, but here we go. <laughs> Snappy completing the round with his 
third kill in it. Yeah, that's Ents just introducing a little bit of chaos into the round. You get mad and aggressively turning the corner at top mid, finding the opening kill, and Snappy's just like, all right, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to attack everywhere I go. Finds Frozen. Able to grab another one. That's beautiful. And then the play the other day was talking about the need for aggression still on the two side, CT side of bathrooms. It overpassed how much utilities needed. We heard Yanko touching on the fact that it could be very difficult to take sites. So it's never really a foregone conclusion, even when it is your own map choice. Oh dear, exertion. He's looked back. Okay, he. Okay, look back. Doesn't matter. He's, he has All had. It was stare his killer straight in the face. That needs to stop. That's like, twice in two rounds. Well, he's had he's had the mid push that failed previously. This one has now failed. He got picked off on catwalk previous round. This this mid aggression that exertion has been busting out with Mao's, whether it's part of a game plan or not, has not been working. And it's time to just stop because once again you're leaving JDC alone on an island. Not the biggest deal, I guess, in this round because you only have the pistols. It's a smaller percentage chance of winning anyways. But JDC's played a lot of this game, feeling very lonely trying to defend this site. Be it back down to the depths of the underpass. JDC. It's the slightly improved version of JDM. He's got the banana in the hands. We're gonna get one with it. The five-seven headshot onto some pious Diaz. Gonna get the kill immediately after. Well, I'm gonna be playing it towards. He's close. Yeah, that's a denial. That's not happening. Okay. And now they've got Snappy. And this gets awkward. 26 seconds. That bomb is in full control of the CTs. Look where the other remaining player is. D is trapped in the corner right now. He's trying to buy time and space. Good kill on the first. Has to get the reload in. Dexter doesn't overcommit to the fight. And desperately waiting for Golden to arrive. Frozen reads that. And Mao Sports get 14 in the most unlikely way. Yeah, unreal. What a recovery from Mao's. Good shooting with the Deagles. That didn't feel like they had any business in it. Sick defense. What a time to step up. JDC gets one. Torzi stopping the bomb. Torzi stopping the bomb was everything. Huge. That slows things down, prevents... It, it changes the nature of the game, especially with the time running down the way it is. It, it, it makes sure Mouse have to kind of be put into pressure. Tenieri goes out behind boxes. Madden, this is fast. Very fast. Oh, Exertion. The one time he doesn't go middle, he's still going to get into contest between he and Madden, but doesn't go down. They back off. Molotov will trap him in, and now they know he's in the window. Smoke down. Does he actually drop this? I think he... Oh, yeah. Frozen's got to be careful now. And Valda's got the call that he's inside that window room. And if he's inside of the smoke, maybe he's going to fall back. So try to get the rifle at the ready toward jungle, but overextends. And Torres is able to get the shot with the AWP instead. That, that this is tough. I think Frozen has to get a read on this. I think he has to swing and check that. And that's why he's not stepping out any further than this. Low crosshair placement. I, I think he's going to check Cinders. Or he's going to do that. Just get out of there, Jason. Yeah. We'll just bail out. Well, what can Madden do in middle is a big question. Can be a pivot point for the team. Can cut off rotations. But if he's going to be at a force that could Stop Frozen, JDC, or Exertion from getting involved. The rest of his teammates need to provide something. Ooh, and that's not it. Two players go down in Palace. Dexter with another headshot. Madden trades him. And the hit is on. This is what Ents have to do. Three on four. This is the only chance they have in the round. Of course, he needs to nail the first one or he's going to be forced off. Flash goes high, but the timing is the exact same as the shot that he rains out. And Madden falls, and Pius now tasked with trying to, oh, oh smoke down, firebox, Torzi's already inside, tasked with trying to watch CT, Frozen can play inside of this as well, but who goes first? Reverse side fires, getting it all the way in there, JDC spots it, Frozen sneaks in, surrounding Snappy, it's over, Mouse gonna get number 15, and they are one round away from taking the map. Yeah, they are, they got three chances to do it as well, thankfully for Ents, due to the run they had earlier, they've got plenty of cash, they at least set themselves up to always have money to fight, the plant's gonna help as well, Madden had 13k before the buy comes in good shooting from Torji. good job from everyone just shutting down palace making it nice and easy even the retake is slow and measured to make sure everyone's going to be here all right and one final deep breath here on mirage and get into it up in the hands of sun pious ak's as well all the utility you could possibly need and they're going to call it right out of spawn a tactic a execute Seen a straight A hit actually 
pretty much the whole half. It's gone out of style. These set executions, a flash over, CT covered, Dexter, too far back to be caught by that from Ticket. He'll put a self-serving smoke in front, and a nade to soften them up, and that's gonna do some small damage to Dia and Matt. He goes to the reverse side of the smoke, though Dia's ready for it. Goes to jump over, exertion tucked away. No one's coming middle. They've gotta be very careful with these passive positions. Certainly the bomb plant is going to come in now for Snappy as the execution plays it, so full retake required from Mouse Sports. Exertion wants they might, to start. They might just save this. Made. I think they should just save this. If they lose this, they have money to rebuy in the next room, but then if they lose that, they have nothing for the final round. So, I mean, might as well save here when you're out of position already and you're completely blocked off. Save now and you can buy and have good buys for the remaining two rounds after the fact. Back through the hole goes Exertion. And with plenty of money on Ents, Snappy's going to go for a bit of a hunt. How much does he want to commit? Or is he just waiting to see if anyone dare go around on catwalk to try and find them? But there's going to be no hunting any further. 15 to 13. And I believe we're about to get a timeout. I could be wrong on that. I could have swore I heard one in the server. Nope. All right. Fair nope. enough. Don't know we're what wrong. I heard. Play on, boys. Well, we will then, Jason. Round just 29. Two more chances. Dexter's dropped at M4. Same thing. Snappy's called the same tactic out of spawn again, but this time there's an extra player and an aggressive defense. Fine, Dexter. Oh, he might get more. They nearly lined up, but they actually give away two. Frozen went down behind as well. Torzy. He hits Tia Butt. He's given up position in doing so because now they have smokes, Molotovs, and everything in front of him. Hence is desperate to take the site, but they've overlooked one small detail. Jungle. And from it comes JDC. He's gonna follow it up. Might close the game. He will. So Pius goes down from the